Hello, my beautiful Mystic Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Tuesday, July the 30th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move into this energy. Remember, this is a collective reading. It is for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment, and I look forward to it. So let's see what the cards have to say as we crank up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, and use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. As we move into the energy, let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, I see the master manifester over here and the chariot. So, you know, I love me some Elvira Knievel as I have affectionately dubbed this card. So the, the beautiful energy of the magician is the ability to focus that manifesting energy and concentrate it in such a way that you don't get distracted or pulled away from your absolute goal. And be stubborn about your goals. Don't let people just sway you very easily. Um, take some consideration before you before you decide to, to do anything different and allow yourself to really know the choice you're making is deliberate and not just happenstance, right? Deliberate choices are very important. Then we get into the energy of the chariot, which is once the deliberate choice is made, we have to let go and let the universe kind of move us in the direction of what we're doing. And the momentum is important. So don't give yourself the the energy of fear when you're in the middle of your launch, right? Um, just let yourself take that deep breath and go for it because that's how everybody who does anything big or something that's never done been done before approaches it. You have to have a, 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 an energy of daredevil in you. And that's why I like the Elvira Knievel uh, little quotation here. So, as we move forward in the energy of the chariot, it is the Cancer Major Arcana and the Magician Master Manifester. Let's see what else we have for this fabulous Tuesday. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit and the Knight of Wands. So normally this is on horseback in the standard tarot. It is the energy of fast moving energy, whether it's prompting you to do something or you're getting on the horse and going for it. It is the timing that you have feel within yourself and allow yourself to move forward. When it's the right time, don't hesitate. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. And... The underlier is the Ten of Swords. This is the energy of release. As, as we allow ourselves to let go of what's been blocking us, holding us back, or bombarding us with negativity, the target is now being removed. And I just want to show you the glimpse of the card that's right behind that is the Wheel of Fortune. So the clearing of that Ten makes way for the breakthrough of the Wheel of Fortune. So we love that. That is a very good confirmation. And we have our faith card as our top card here. This is the energy of allowing yourself to stand for what you believe. And I said it earlier, be stubborn about it. Um, you don't have to be belligerent, but don't be swayed at the drop of a hat, right? Keep your faith and allow it to, to be something that you, you are resilient with. Resilience is the best one. I have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. Well, this is an absolute truth. You've got to have the faith in yourself to even try to do something different. Um, and that's where you have to know that, you know, we, we put our trust in a whole lot of things outside of ourselves. You should trust yourself first. And if you can't trust yourself first, then you need to ask yourself why. Because there's a thought or something that someone's told you that you've been trained into 
And you've got to break that or you'll never be able to push past some of the, the hard things that come when you when you go on some, you know, you've got to go on a mission on your own. Uh, you can't you cannot waver uh, when you do waver. It causes all kinds of little little things that you have to, cut, you know, kind of work around. So unwavering faith. And receptivity. So when we have unwavering faith, we also have to have that ability, have the expectation that that faith is going to be answered. Right, that that will be uh, will be response uh, responsive and receptive to what shows up. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve, and yes, you deserve them. Why? You're worthy. Why? Because you exist. If you were, <laughs> that's that's why we're here. <laughs> Because the opportunities are here for us, and we have to be in a place where we allow ourselves to be available to those opportunities. You wouldn't be having these thoughts and ideas if there weren't something to it. There's a reason why you feel compelled. No need to worry. Yes and yes. So, remember, worry doesn't do a daggum thing that helps you do anything. In fact, it can amplify itself and actually become a block itself. So we don't need to add anything extra to our plate and worry is definitely to be avoided as, as much as trans fats, right? Not, <laughs> that's supposed to be the worst thing, right? Avoid worry as though it were poison to you because it kind of is. It makes all kinds of symptoms. Oh, yes, throat chakra. We haven't had this one in a little minute. So the throat chakra is where the vibrations that you speak go out into the world and bring things together, right? Uh, the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. So when we're not empowered enough to even speak our blessings into existence, then we're still stuck in the state of fear that is going to cause the resistance that's going to hold it back. So open up your own ability to express yourself in any creative way you can and allow yourself to have permission to speak on your own behalf. And we have surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet, for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations, and your life will magically transform. So surrender doesn't mean letting go of your free will. Surrender means stopping your resistance to anything new. Hmm, how about that? Let yourself consider what, what's possible. And that manifestation would be the next step into that. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. And so it is. Manifestation is an amazing energy. And we have our first card, which is the Three of Cups. This is the energy of celebration. It is the energy of the beautiful seraphim as all energy pours into this beautiful cup as one. You get a double portion. So overflow, abundance, celebration, and prosperity. With the Pisces moon. The Pisces moon is the energy of focusing with intention on an exact goal. And if you see this moon as an embryo, that's where you're pouring the quantum energy and the, all the things you're magnetizing to you. You see you have the octahedrons here and here. It is the as above, so below. So you're in the 3D realm until you hit the horizon. And then the rest is the quantum. So allow yourself to focus that energy on what does not exist into existence. So whatever is missing, whatever piece is missing in your life, focus on that being part of what your new experience is. Whatever that missing piece is suddenly manifests. And, and even if you don't know what that is, you can say, whatever missing piece is there, thank you, universe, I, I bring it in. I bring it in and receive it now. Thank you for, get, for bringing it to me and, and making that a whole, right? 
And this beautiful star card will certainly accentuate that. This is the Aquarius Major Arcana, and it's the energy of being able to really align yourself with your higher goal. And the universe is saying a yes to your soul's desire. So this is about your mission and the ascension energy that comes with it, this beautiful expansion of that star as you see it moving into the beautiful energy of the ether, which is what's coming together to bring you into that energy of forming something. So your focus is required. If you're not focusing, it's you're, you're not putting uh, the you're not fast tracking it. If you're not focusing, yes, what you want may eventually fall fall into place, but it'll happen faster if you're focusing with positive intention on creating it and allowing yourself and you don't have to focus every minute of every day just take five minutes a day and set yourself with your intention at it's just like when we do these readings and give yourself that few minutes to remind yourself hey i haven't forgotten that i'm still working on this and i i'm fully in the energy of receiving it and then let it go and and the universe will bring it back so Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, we've just let the monthlies go out, and I hope you enjoy them as I send you love and light and all the best possible things. And I'll see you tomorrow. I love you guys. Namaste, my friends.